you will have an encounter with God in an unusual way. In the mighty name of Jesus. So to succeed in life, you must have a high level of five things. Number one, you must have a high level of desire. Number one, you must have a high level of desire. Mark chapter 11 verse 24. Mark chapter 11 verse 24 from the King James Version. Now, let's read from verse 22. Verse 22, Jesus, I mean, the background of this scripture has to do with Jesus cursing the fig tree. And the disciples saw it. And the, Peter said, Jesus, look, the fig tree that you cursed is withered. And Jesus said, Mark chapter 11, verse 22, Jesus said to Peter, Jesus answering said unto them, have faith in God. Verse 23, the Bible says that Jesus said, for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain. So that means you have to speak to your mountains. Don't keep quiet at the mountains. You speak aggressively to the mountain. And I decree to every mountain that has hindered your destiny moves tonight. Amen. I said it moves tonight. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. So Jesus said, for verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. He shall have whatsoever he says. So this evening, as you say it, you will have it. I said, as you say it, you will have it. As I decree tonight, you will see it tomorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 24 of Mark chapter 11. Then Jesus said, therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire. Key word there is what? Desire. Do you have some desires? Do you have some desires? I said, do you have some desires? So Jesus said, what things soever you desire. When you pray, believe that you have received them and you shall have them. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Jesus said, therefore I say unto you, that what things soever you desire. So to succeed in life, you must have a high level of desire. Your desire must be strong. A strong desire to succeed. A strong desire to come out of poverty. A strong desire to come out of sickness and disease. You must have a strong desire. Your level of desire determines your level of success. Others might see mountains. Others might see obstacles. But with your strong desire, you see success. And I prophesy over someone from today, your desires will be manifested. To succeed in life, you must have a high level of devotion. Number two, you must have a high level of devotion. Luke chapter 18 verse 28. The Bible says that then Peter said, See, we have left all and followed you. Somebody said devotion. devotion. When you are devoted to something, you leave everything else. And follow what you are devoted to. Peter said, Jesus, we have left everything. We have left our wives. We have left our children. We have left our businesses. And we are following you. Why? Because we are devoted to you. Your devotion is demonstrated by what you follow. Amen. Are you following what I'm saying? If you are devoted to God, you follow God, you follow after God hardly. David said, I follow hard after God. Those who are devoted follow after God hard. Remember the woman who, whose daughter was sick, the Syrophoenician woman. 
And the Bible says that Jesus went to the seaside to rest. And all of a sudden she showed up. And she started shouting at Jesus. Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. My daughter is at the point of dying. And Jesus ignored her. The more she cried, the more Jesus ignored her. The more she cried, the more she, the disciples said to Jesus, Jesus, can you send her away? You know, why? She needed something. She was devoted. She needed the healing of her daughter. And after all her dedication and devotion, Jesus turned to her and said, Woman, we don't give the, the, the bread to dogs. That means you and your daughter, you are dogs. Now, when you are devoted to something, it doesn't matter what people call you. Yeah. Are you following what I'm saying? They say, people who are not devoted, their little name calling, oh, you are a dog. Ah, I came to the church for the first time and the pastor called me a dog. Does he know who I am? Who are you? Before God, you and I are nothing. This woman was so devoted, she didn't take no for an answer. And after everything, the Bible says that Jesus turned around and said, Oh woman, great is your faith. Be done unto you according to your faith. Somebody is in this prophetic encounter tonight. It shall be done unto you according to your faith. Shout a living amen. Why? Because she was dead. Bible says that Peter said to Jesus, we have left everything and followed you. What are we going to get? And Jesus said, those who are devoted don't lack in life. Jesus said, everything you left to follow me in this life, you will get it and in the life to come. He said, nobody has left their mother, their father, their brother, their wife. Remember, he didn't say wives. Wife. He didn't say husbands. He said husband. All the other things were plural. Houses, lands, everything, brothers, sisters. But when it came to wife and husband, he said husband. Wife. Somebody said, oh, Pastor, I thought Jesus said husbands. Or wives. He will have given him the passport to get more. The devil is a liar. So, Based on their dedication or their devotion, Jesus said, you are going to get more that you sacrifice for me. Amen. To succeed in life, you must have, number three, a high level of discipline. Amen. A high level of discipline. First Corinthians chapter 9, from verse 24 to 27. Glory be to God. First Corinthians chapter 9 from verse 24 to 27. Now notice Paul is saying something very interesting here. Paul said, Know you not that they which run in a race run all, but one receives the prize so run that you may obtain. In other words, don't run aimlessly. This year is not a year to run aimlessly. No vision. Somebody is going to holiday in, in Tenerife. You say, oh, I, I, I'm not doing anything. I'm going with you. And then you go and they quarantine you for 14 days. <laughs> aimlessly. Are you following what I'm saying? You don't just follow, follow, follow. You are Miss Follow, follow. You are Mr. Follow, follow. What's your vision? So Paul said, you don't just run. You must run to obtain. Verse 25. Verse 25. The Bible says, and he said, and every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. Amen. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible crown. 
Verse 26. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beats the air. Beating the air is called shadow boxing. How many of you likes boxing here? You like boxing. Did you watch the Tyson Fury match? Yeah. He didn't win by hitting the air. When you see your opponent here, you are hitting the air. No. That's called shadow boxing. Paul said, I do not fight as one that beats the air. Verse 27 is key. Now remember we're talking about high level of what? Discipline. But he said, I keep my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should become a castaway or disqualified. High level of discipline. Have you not heard athletes who have achieved so much in life and then later on, they have achieved so many medals. And later on, you realize that they cheated, used drugs because of lack of discipline. And they lost everything. Discipline is key. Number four, to succeed in life, you must have a high level of determination. Determination. Second Chronicles chapter 2 verse 1. The Bible says that then Solomon determined to build a temple for the name of the Lord and a royal house for himself. Then Solomon determined. Now, this is very interesting because Solomon had everything before he showed up for the building of the temple. But yet, without determination, he couldn't build God's house. Are you following what I'm saying? Determined. The Bible says that Jesus was determined. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. That is determination. How determined are you? Sometimes your determination will be tested. Sometimes your determination can be your faith and it will be tested. You have pain in your body and faith says don't say you have faith. You have pain in your body. So you have to be determined to speak against that pain. The Bible says that Solomon was determined to build a house for the name of the Lord. If you are going to do exploits this year, you have to be determined. You have to be determined that nothing is going to cause you to backslide. You have to be determined. The walk of faith is a walk of determination. High level of determination. People will come and and, and, and discourage you but their discouragement must not discourage you are you following what I'm saying high level of determination high level of don't wait for anybody to encourage you this year the Bible says that David encouraged himself in the Lord determination number five to succeed in life, you must have a high level of dedication. So number one, you must have a high level of desire. Number two, you must have a high level of devotion. Number three, you must have a high level of discipline. Number four, you must have a high level of determination. And number five, you must have a high level of dedication. John chapter 12 verse 24. The Bible says that Jesus said, most assuredly I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. Somebody say dedication. Dedication. 
Dedication simply means getting ready to die for what you believe you have been called for. If you are not ready to die for it, you are not dedicated. <laughs> Jesus said, I'm so dedicated to die on the cross that even Peter tried to convince him. Peter said to Jesus, Jesus, you, don't, you know you don't have to die. Jesus said to Peter, get thee behind me, you Satan. Some of us have missed our destiny because we are not dedicated. Some of us are not dedicated to anything. A little challenge, we run away. A little challenge, we run away. You see the woodcutter we saw yesterday? He was dedicated to the wrong thing. Exerting his strength. Meanwhile, what he needed was wisdom. This year, you will not lack wisdom. The world will come and seek the wisdom that God has placed in you. In the name of Jesus, receive right now the spirit and the impartation of the spirit of wisdom. I said, receive right now the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. To do exploits this year in the name of Jesus. If the axe is dull and one does not sharpen the edge, then he must use more strength. But wisdom is profitable to direct. Write this down. God calls every believer. To model five 